Let's say you have an audio file that you want to make into a video. It can be a voiceover, a podcast, or even a music track. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to show you how to transform your audio clips into this. So to get started, just click the first link in the description. Now we're in Bead, we're going to click upload a file, choose our audio file, and now we're prompted to choose a template. So you can go ahead and pick whichever one works for your project. Or if you don't want to choose one of those, you can pick start with a blank canvas, which is what I'm going to pick just because I really want to totally customize my design to make it my own. Lovely. Now we've got our blank canvas. I need to choose a format. So under size, I'm just going to click the arrow down here and choose square. Next, I'm going to head to the left hand column and click media. Now here, I've got two choices. So I could either choose to use some of the stock footage. It would work really nice with a music video, but because I'm actually going to use this for a podcast, I'm going to choose to upload a photo instead. Lovely. Now I just need to resize it by dragging the corners and sides in and out. Perfect. Now I want to add a banner to the bottom of my screen. So I'm going to head back to the left hand column here, click elements and under shapes, I'm going to choose square. I'm just going to drag it to the bottom and pull it over. So it fills the entire bottom of the screen. Now in the timeline, I need to drag that shape bar all the way over to the end of the clip. Lovely. Next, I want to add subtitles to my video. So I'm going to head back to the left hand column and click subtitles, click auto subtitle, choose my language and click create subtitles. Now it's going to take a moment or two here just to generate our captions. And once it's finished, we're going to play it through just once just to check for any errors because it might have misheard some of the words that we've said. Now, if this does happen to you, it is a very simple fix. Simply just click on the word that's wrong, delete it and type in the correct word. Now to style our captions, we are going to hit the styles tab here and we're just going to have a play around with different fonts, different sizes, different colors, and even effects. And once we've made our choices, we now need to place them in the center of the bottom banner. Lovely. And once we're happy with all of that, we can add a title. So we're going to head back to the left hand column, click text. And here you can see there's a bunch of different built in designs. I actually really like the one that says coffee hour. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to call my podcast travels with Lauren. Lovely. Now I just need to resize and reposition it. Perfect. I can also change the color here if I like. And if I click more options, I can even add an outline to my text. We're now going to extend that tile all the way across the timeline just so that it stays on screen for the entirety of the video. One last touch we can add is a text animation. So go ahead, click text animation and have a play around here and choose the one that you like best. Now we're happy with our subtitles and our text. We can add a sound wave animation. So once again, head back to the left hand column here, click elements and scroll down to sound waves, click view all and just choose the one that you like. And once you've done that, position it on the screen. And now if we play a section of it, you'll see it in action. So here we go. There is a handful of places in the world that have created their own micro nation. Now, if you don't want to add any more to your video, that's completely fine. Just skip forward to the next chapter. But if we're still on the same wavelength here, guys, I have one final trick up my sleeve and I think it's really going to heighten the production value of your video. It's one little extra chef's kiss, if you will. Oh, beautiful. So stay with me. We're going to head to the left hand column here. I'm going to go back into our elements and scroll down now to where you see calls to action and choose whichever one of these works for your platform because mine's for a podcast. I'm going to choose Spotify. I'm going to resize it and drag it into the corner of my video. And now just head to the timeline and drag that over all the way to the end and done. I think that's looking really great now. So all we need to do is render and export. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and click export once more. Now it'll just take a minute or two here to render our video. And once that's done, we just need to watch it through just once, just to make sure we're happy. And once we're finished doing that, it's download and download MP4. And that's it. That is how you turn an audio clip into a video in minutes. I really hope you found this video helpful guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content and leave me any comments or questions down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye!